We're coming out of that testimony to look at a breaking story this morning and we're joined by our senior political correspondent Mzwai Mbeje about uh, the death of Gavin Watson apparently at the OR Tambo Airport. Absolutely and it, it, it looks like it was an accident perhaps just before uh, the OR Tambo um, Airport so we are not sure at this stage whether he was traveling to the airport or was traveling around the airport. Yeah. Remember, R24 is just near the, 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 the Oartambo airport. But uh, it's quite uh, significant, I mean, this development, uh, given that you have just come out of the uh, commission uh, into state capture. Absolutely. Because his in fact, name, I was thinking yeah. in my head at a time of like this, you want to think condolences. Yes. But the other thought is what happens to all the other evidence? Yes, absolutely. I mean, um, given that uh, one of the people who went to state capture, uh, who captured the entire nation, uh, Angelo Akritzi, put uh, Kevin Watson at the center of uh, what was happening at, at Bosasa. Remember, uh, Kevin Watson was the head of, of, of Bosasa, and he basically said he was the man who did everything wrong in that Bosasa. And we were looking forward to perhaps him being uh, called before the co Commission of Inquiry to answer to some of the um, issues that um, uh, were raised. And of course, some of the videos, and I'm sure people will, will remember uh, when uh, um, Angelo Agritzi uh, showed uh, the Commission the video where the monies were, were being counted. But it, it also raises, also, uh, Desiree, a number of questions because uh, he had, um, I mean, if it's to be believed what is being said about um, uh, Kevin Watson, so so many people uh, are implicated. I mean, so many. And of course, he is well known as a, 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 an apartheid, um, a, a former activist uh, against apartheid. I mean, that is well documented. And from his days back then in PE, but the kind of connections that uh, he was having now, the kind of influence that he was having now, the kind of contracts that Bosasa got from government. He was almost like running his, a parallel through government. Through his connections. And this commission that is sitting right now is looking at those things. And I think many South Africans uh, were looking forward to hearing from him as to what are these issues. Let's just go back to the uh, report that he has died. How did we get the story? Oh, well, uh, this, we are a media industry, so uh, our editors, our reporters obviously got the tip off, so we never divulge our sources uh, that uh, something like that had happened. And of course, remember, the SAPC can't simply just run that, yeah. so it had to do its own verification processes, and then it was okay. able to uh, come to a conclusion to say the information at our disposal is really credible enough for us to go on air. That is why uh, we are able to say um, we understand uh, that uh, perhaps the family may, um, uh, I think, may be very aggrieved at this, but look at the kind of uh, the stage of the person we're speaking about. So some of those debates, I think, time and again will come in. So you were saying it's ironic that we have to report on this as we come out of the State Capture Commission. Not only that, the person who's testifying today was an official in the office of the former minister in the presidency, Collins Chabani, who also died in an accident. And questions were asked about whether it's an authentic accident or if it was manufactured. Is it too early to ask those sort of questions about Gavin Watson? Obviously, at this stage, because uh, Desiree, we don't have the details, um, it, it, it would be very difficult to say anything conclusive. But I can tell you, if indeed it is an accident, so I think South Africans, uh, knowing South Africans, I don't think they will simply take it at face value. They would want to understand. There will uh, be understand. questions asked. They would, be, they would want to understand. I mean, was it really a, 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 a normal, genuine accident, or perhaps something may have happened? particularly because there are these questions we are speaking about. Uh, quite a number of people uh, are, are implicated. Yeah. Um, he hasn't come before the commission. But so I, yeah. last week when the Deputy Chief Justice spoke to the SABC about the one-year anniversary yeah. of the State Capture Commission, he said one of his bugbears was the fact that implicated people are mostly not interested in cross-examining uh, the people who gave testimony like Angelo Agritzi. Are the people who've been implicated, let's just go back and, mm -hmm. and unpack the testimony of Angelo Agritti. Mm -hmm. Are the implicated people going to go scot-free as a result of this development, do you think? 
Indeed, uh, I think there's, there, there's a lot of questions, uh, Desiree, that will remain unanswered. I think uh, we, we, I mean, we, we now know that uh, perhaps about 12 billion rand contract worth of uh, money from government went to Bosasa. And I guess he would be the best person to to say yes it did or it didn't answer some of those questions mm -hmm. and some of, of the perhaps one of the issue i think south africans would want to to know akrita basically said, went to the commission and said um uh, gavin watson used to take money about three hundred thousand. i'm just making one example to and take it to Nkandl. To, to Nkandl. Mm. so i think those were some of the question and um, um gavin watson for example uh, was seen in the pictures of the of the wedding of the the state president's son uh, yes in, in uganda so you know all those things um are obviously we're not saying uh, uh the, 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 they are wrong because he hasn't given his side but south africans would want to know from the man who is implicated yeah. in all of those things to say so what led you to go there what made you do APC, B, APCOT? And remember, just Perez, before you cut me, um, yeah. uh, Desiree, uh, this is someone who was said to be deeply religious. Perhaps he may have uh, found strength uh, to get his inner self. How do you think the uh, processes at the State Capture Commission will be impacted going forward because of this development? Well, the, 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 the overall state capture is not really going to be affected, but the aspect that relates, that relates to Bosasa, to Akrit and it's all... It's a huge portion. It's, it, it, it's a huge one. And uh, remember, there are so many people here implicated, and most of them basically said, no, you're lying. Yeah. So we were waiting for him to say, actually, it's true, I did APCOD. So now, with him gone... Honestly, that aspect around Bosasa will be very, very difficult to crack. So we will forever remain with those questions. Yeah, it's, um, it's quite a story. It, it, it's, it's quite, quite a, story. a story. I mean, it's, it's quite a story. Um, and this is someone really who uh, Angelo Akritzi said they were working hand in hand. This is someone who Angelo Akritzi says he used to boast to say, well, I know all the politicians. Yeah, yeah. This is someone who, I mean, obviously within the struggle circles, uh, someone who really fought uh, for the liberation of this country. But here is the country is now liberated. So what is your role? So are you still uh, pursuing those? So we will we'll never be able to answer now those questions to say, uh, is it true that... Uh, you effectively bought the politicians. Is it true that the politicians uh, effectively danced to your tune? Yeah. So those are some, some of the crucial things. We only know of Gavin Watson because he has been projected into the public yeah. space because of the uh, State Capture Commission. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's another sector of the community that knows not only Gavin Watson, but the extended Gavin, the Watson family, the Watson family in yes, terms yeah. of their activities in rugby, mm -hmm. in the Eastern yes, Cape. Yes. And at a moment like this, I suppose people are trying to think, how are we going to remember this person? What was his contribution to that sector of the community? You know, um, I keep saying he's uh, a person who's known uh, for fighting uh, apartheid, so, which is very, very noble. I mean, and I think th they will tell you, those who know him perhaps before the Bosasa days, that this was someone who uh, really refused to be part of a, a, a whites-only team of rugby because he believed in the in inclusion, in, in inclusion and, yeah. that, and that he is not free unless all uh, men and women of his country are free. Of course, that is absolutely noble. But I think the question, uh, Desiree, is in this uh, democratic dispensation, is his role as noble as it was before? Do we know, Mzoyi, where the turning point was for uh, whether Gavin or, or the, as, as I say, the extended uh, Watson family in terms of their, their values and ideals? Well, uh, I mean, if we listen to Akritzi, it will probably be on how uh, Bosasa was, was set up on the involvement on, of, of a number of people on the starting of their operations, on them getting those contracts, yeah. and perhaps 
that's where uh, things could have gone wrong if indeed they went wrong. Remember, the judge is still probing. So it's unfortunate that the man who many South Africans were hoping to hear from, so will not be able to do that. So the breaking story today, Gavin Watson has died. Unfortunately. It's a very sad situation. Our senior political correspondent, Mzwai Mbeche. Of course, there's a lot to speak about and we'll continue to unpack this development. But I suppose the starting point is uh, condolences to the Watson family. You're watching the